Kevin here, aka Brick Ninja, and today we're going to be looking at this set that LEGO sent me a copy of to review. This is set number 75270, Obi-Wan's Hut. It has 200 pieces, and in the United States it will retail for $30. I am kind of excited about this one because they've never done Obi-Wan's Hut before, and I like it when they find new things to do. That being said, Box art isn't really selling me on it, so let's go ahead and get this guy built up and see what we got here. Alrighty, so I got this guy all built up, and our Rebel Lug member quote is from Bryce, and he says, Nothing stand out about this set. And he's mostly right. Uh, there is one thing that I do feel like stands out, but unfortunately for the set, it is one single solitary piece. And you probably already know what it is, but we'll get to that in a moment. Other than that, it's pretty lackluster. I think the main issue I have is the $30 price tag and it's like a 12 by 12 footprint with just a little bit overhanging. Um, it's really small for what you're paying on it. Um, I do wish that they had been able to do this as a larger set or something. It just, I just feel like we don't get new original builds that often and it's so disappointing that now that we finally did get one, it's both a rather blah option and not super well done. I think they should have done the Lars Family Homestead instead of Obi-Wan's Hut. Uh, the Lars Family Homestead is much more iconic. You could do that front entryway, make it like a $50 set, and we could finally get a Baru figure. We also don't have any sets in that $50 price range for this wave. We have a $30 set, and the next set is $80. So it's really weird that there's nothing more middle of the road there as far as I'm concerned. But anyways, back to this guy here. Uh, we got several figures here. Nothing super exciting, uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look at them. So let's see what we got here. Let's start off with Obi-Wan. Uh, he has that same torso print that was in the Death Star gun set. This one's just missing the dark brown hood and cape, uh, which is a little disappointing because it'd be nice to have uh, more of that hood piece. But overall, it's an alright fig. I wish there had been some leg printing on him. We have the uh, Luke figure here. Uh, he is basically the same as we've had before, so don't expect too much out of him. It's a pretty solid figure, but I've definitely already own quite a few of this version of Luke, so in that regard, not super exciting, though I understand why he's in it. Uh, and let's jump right into the Tusken Raider. Another Tusken Raider, this is the same version that came in the Micro Fighter Dual Pack, uh, which is very similar to the one that came in previous sets from a couple years ago though it does have a different torso print. And we have R2-D2 here, uh, really nothing to talk about, same version that we've had for quite a while, and uh, nothing, nothing unique, nothing new, nothing bad, but you probably already have a bunch of them. Looking at the set itself, this one hinges open, go like that, and like that, and you can lift this guy here up, and you can get inside. 
So we get a little table area and a crate with some storage and just some other random stuff. And again, it's really small. It's also really weird. Like, this is like the front door and it goes right into a crate. Like, you don't really have, you can pull it out, but you don't really have somewhere else to put that crate. You know, it's just kind of sloppy in my opinion. But let's look at the one standout part of this set, Leia hologram piece right there. This is pretty cool. Let's pull her out and take a closer look at that. So let's take a look at that hologram piece. I am pretty happy with this one here. I'm kind of surprised they made it just because while it's not super distinct, it's also pretty noticeable that she has the hair buns, which is great for Leia, but it's going to be hard for them to use it for anything else. The uh, dress also slopes back, uh, so that's kind of cool, kind of matches the new mold that they have for that. Um, overall, pretty excited that they did this, and it's a pretty solid, solid piece there. Uh, the other thing that's kind of cool is in this crate we have Luke's lightsaber in storage, blade included. And there's also the training droid that Luke uses in A New Hope. So we can take a look at this guy here. So we've got this training droid that Luke uses on the Millennium Falcon, and it's just kind of funny that this set has a now printed version of that. It's very similar to the printed helmet option that we got with the microfighter with the T-16 Skyhopper pilot. Now you can put all of these components from like three or four different sets together to have a little bit more updated version of pretty short scene. But I always like it when they do little details like this, so I think that guy's pretty cool, but not super necessary either. So, what we're really here for is the parts, right? You know, you can build whatever you want as long as you've got the parts. So what parts does this guy have? And I gotta say, not a whole lot. Uh, first off, I mean, it's only 200 parts. But as far as cool, unique stuff, it's got a bit of tan tiles, quite a bit of tan bricks. I think the most exciting thing is either going to be this dome or these 2x2 two two macaroni tiles in tan. Uh, those are kind of nice, and I always like these tiles, and different color options are nice for those. But again, this one's not really hitting me super well as far as good parts. Um, on the back here, we got like this little kitchen area. It's got a few other, you know, white elements, some couple other options, but... Again, nothing real exciting on this set as far as parts. And unfortunately, nothing super exciting in the way of figures either. Most of these we've basically already had. So it's really, for me, coming down just for that Leia hologram and that printed head for the training droid. And the rest of it, I'm not super thrilled with. So this one here got a 5.6 out of 10 from Rebelug members and only 10% of them were planning on picking it up. I personally would have given it a 5 if it had been something that we'd already had from LEGO before. Since it was a unique build, I'm going to give it a 6, but the reality is it's not a good unique build, so it's still hitting a pretty low score. If you do not have these figures, then it's probably worth picking up. If you have even like two of these figures, let alone three or all four, it's an easy pass. You know, if you want these tiles, or if you want the Leia hologram, or the training droid, pick those up on the aftermarket. But overall, it's kind of disappointing just because I feel like this set had a lot more potential than what we got. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and we shall see you on the next one. Thank you.